that's what's crazy. It gets so cold that it's like, I mean, you get out, it's like pins and needles. <laughs> uh, trying to answer y'all questions. Let's keep scrolling. Who will win the Olympia this year? I mean, you know, you got to really think of the last, um, you got to think of Hottie right now. I mean, you got a guy like Hottie that's not going to ease up at all. Um, he's the champ. He's not easing up. Barring injury, he probably will win. Um, he's got more muscle than, than Derek, but Derek is definitely not a person that's going to take that lightly. He, 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 got a, he got a taste of it last year. He got a taste of what could happen, so now he's going going in as well, so he's definitely, definitely motivated. And then, you know, the rest, I mean, we'll, we'll just have to see. I think those are the two guys. I mean, I'm you know, Samson hasn't really stepped next to those two. So it could be, I mean, Nick, you know, all these guys. I mean, it's, it's going to be very interesting. But you, everybody's going to have to be on. They're going to have to be complete. They're going to have to bring up their weakest body part. And that's what the biggest piece of advice I could give any pro is that if you can't bring up your weakest body part, you're not going to win not going to win, and you shouldn't win. A lot of people asked me if I would ever get back on the stage. You know, it was funny. I was thinking about it. I was literally, literally thinking about this yesterday. I'm like, I wouldn't have to do the Olympia to get back on the stage. I could do any show. That's what's funny. <clears throat> It was like the first time I actually had that conversation with myself. I was like, man, I could compete anywhere. I don't have to just do like the Olympia. I could just, you know, competed last week, <laughs> you know? Just did that just to do it and then do something else. How are you doing now health-wise? I'm actually doing really good, to be quite honest. Um, I work with Transcend Company, but I also have a doctor. Her name is Gabrielle Lyon. Um, we had a really good consult um, just this past week, and everything looks good, you know. And when I say everything looks good, I mean there's a couple things that were elevated, but like like cholesterol and stuff like that. But um, as far as like any real markers for like you know like heart disease, liver disease, like kidney disease, like nothing. So like very thankful for that and being able to have a doctor like like I said, Dr. Gabrielle working with myself and working on my working with my wife and and I have all the you know the best medications available to me through Transcend. So I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna continuously be really, really good. So, you know, that's one thing I'm really happy about is uh, obviously my health. Most importantly that I have the resources. Um, so shout out to Dr. Gabrielle Lyon and obviously guys over at Transcend Company, you guys rock. struggle through retirement did you go through the same thing absolutely i mean you know you, you, you struggle people struggle through transition whether it be relationships or careers i mean people people have that like that's that's a part of life that's a part of growth there's no real blueprint for it i mean the biggest thing is just to, to know that if you can sit still and, and learn to um, gather your breath and be able to meditate and med being able to dream about other things you'll be okay, you know, you'll have to learn that there's other things available to you in this world that are worth uh, going after. I think the, the problem, you know, the transition is when you stop dreaming, when you don't dream about anything and you still stay stuck in the past, you stay stuck in that relationship, that stuck in that shitty job or whatever, and you don't dream about like now. What, do you, what is going on now? What do you want in the future? And, and if what you had in the past doesn't serve you today, then it's time to transition. And that is hard, but it's only hard for the person that refuses to dream and to then act. And understand that it's going to be tough. You know, it's going to be rough. You know, you're going to have moments. But that's when you have to really, 
you know, get those emotions out. You got to write down. You got to meditate. You got to pray. You got to do those things. And if you can do them on a consistent basis, I think you'll be all right. Says Phil, he still thinks he is superior to the all-time greats. I don't understand. What I earned. I don't know if that's shade. I don't know if that's a congratulatory thing. All I know is that I earned it. I beat a lot of, I prevented a lot of badass bodybuilders to win the Olympia. And I think that always uh, puts me in a different category. And a lot of people understand that as they get older too. Oh, much love. Oh, from Scotland? Man, I have never been to Scotland. I gotta, man, I wanna bring my wife to Scotland. I wanna get out there. What has been my best experience inside of bodybuilding? I mean, of course, winning the Olympia, you know? Mm -mm -mm. Excuse me. favorite bodybuilder right now you know what's funny is uh i haven't really ever really had time to really dissect everybody's physique i don't really have a favorite bodybuilder that's competing right now um what i try to do is look at the the genuine mindset from these guys as far as the bodies i mean You know, I, I I appreciate their hard work and stuff like that. I miss some of the um, bodies that I competed against. I miss seeing, like, the prime Jay Cutlers, the prime Victor Martinez, the prime Dexter Jacksons, Branch Warrens, Dennis Wolfs, Ronnie Rockle, Kai Green. I miss those. So those are the ones I really think about. It's just my era. I just think about those more than the current guys. Um, because honestly, I feel like those guys are, I, I do feel like they're better <laughs> uh, in their own way. Um, the new guys, they they look really good. But, and I'm a fan of theirs. I just don't have a favorite, I guess. I don't have a favorite. Yeah, I don't. My era was dope, man. It just, I don't think people really think about it. Like, if you take all of our physiques in our prime, <sighs> these new cats, man, I don't 